Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. This is Quick Radiology. And today we're going to discuss about the chest x-ray finding of mitral stenosis. Mitral stenosis. Okay, what are the chest x-ray findings? Oh, this is mitral stenosis is a really very important topic. So you should know the chest x-ray finding and if you want to see how it, exactly it looks like on a chest x-ray just google the images i cannot upload over here because of the copyright issue guys okay sorry for that and uh, let me start a discussion on this chest x-ray finding of a mitral stenosis the you will have what you call an elevated left main bronchus elevated left main bronchus okay then we have what you call a cardinal widening normal cardinal angle is you know 60 to 75 degree there's a cardinal angle widening widening what's a normal cardinal angle is a 60 to 70 5 degrees 60 to 75 degree okay then you know the double atrial shadow or a density double atrial shadow or density okay and uh, the upper lobe venous diversion with the prominent upper lobe veins that is known as stag antlers sign Tag antlers sign. Okay, stag antler sign is nothing but upper lobe venous diversion with the prominent upper lobe veins. Prominent upper lobe veins. The upper lobe veins will be very prominent. Okay, guys. And uh, there is another one very important that you know most of you know that is the straightening of the left heart border. Straightening. of left heart border okay right prominent left atrial appendage if it's a, and this prominent left atrial appendage is very pathognomic of uh, remember rheumatic heart disease okay and if you take a barium swallow you see some impressions on esophagus okay guys so these are what you call um, chest x-ray findings of a mitral stenosis okay there are some syndrome that is you know lotobasho syndrome that ASD with uh, what you call a mitral stenosis in which ASD will be what you call a most commonly will be congenital it can be iatrogenic okay and the mitral stenosis is most of the times will be acquired due to rheumatic heart disease that's known as the Lotte-Basher syndrome okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care